got these memories. I hope that you remember me. I'm sorry, but I had to leave. You? I'm alone in the cold. Used to call me on the cell phone when he was in home. Yep. And now that's in the past, I'm thinking back to what we had all laughed. Never thought that this other crash. So I checked out, packed up, and drove down this lonely road. I'm sorry, but I had to let you go. Yep. I got a new girl. Forgot about you, girl. The one of those shades, but change the ways for you, girl. Sitting, waiting, wishing for the one that I care for. The one I'll be there for. The one that could count for. Three, two, she's the one. Never, never thought I'd be the type of guy to fall in love. But I trust that I trust in her. We love her to love her. But I never loved her. and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been active that much this year but I'll be starting to be active again on this channel. And yeah, so for today's video, as you can tell by my little intro, today's video is a January's favorite and yes, that song is definitely one of my favorites. If you guys haven't checked it out yet or purchased it, where have you guys been? I'll be linking it down below. You guys definitely need to check it out. It's, it's goals. And if you haven't checked out their channel, once again, you're living under a rock and I'll be linking their channel underneath as well. That song is just everything okay besides that so today's video since i wanted to do a january series but i wasn't kind of in the mood to be filming like a sit down chat like of the camera type of video so i decided since i had decorated my room as well for valentine's day and i wanted to show you guys that too but since i already had a room tour up before and it wasn't that many things i added for valentine's day for my room since it's already pastels and girly but i did definitely add some like like valentine's day stuff to it so I just kind of want to include it with my January favorites so around my room I will have a couple of my January favorite things scattered around as well as the new items I added for my Valentine's Day room decor and yeah hope you guys like it and let's get started okay so starting off towards my bed area which is kind of the entrance to my room what I added for Valentine's Day and is definitely one of my January favorites purchases was this really super cute little blanket throw and it was in the valentine's day section at walmart and i thought it was super cute it has rose pattern and it's mint green and what i really like about it is how the i'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera but the edges aren't a straight edge they're kind of cinched a bit and they're stitched like that to have the kind of like that wavy effect you can kind of tell over here and yeah and then they also came with this throw pillow and it's super cute it's this little soft fluffy pink heart and they had a lot of different patterns they had definitely a lot more that are definitely more obvious that they're valentine's day because they're like the X, xo xo and they were black and red and they had other ones that just had hearts but i personally like this one better because it also fits well for spring and not necessarily valentine's day and i can use it a lot more and it matches my room decor really well so yeah i really liked it and it definitely added more mint green to my room which was what i was trying to achieve since my theme is pastels, but I wanted to get more mint stuff tied in. And yeah, enough rambling. Another favorite I have that I threw on my bed right now to show you guys are these super cute pom-pom ears, I believe. They're ears, I'm not really quite sure if they're just pom-poms or ears, but I think they look like ears. So we'll just go with that. And they're from Forever 21, they're super cute. And they're little roses, and I just had to get them. I've been really obsessed with cat ears. It was mainly towards like the end of fall last year, but I've been really liking these and I have another pair of these that I'll be showing you right now. And yeah, they're super cute and inexpensive. Okay, so moving on. This one's definitely more of a Valentine's Day thing. Ignore the little holes in my walls. I used to have a shelf there, I believe. But yeah, ignore those. But what I'm trying to show you guys here is this little cute banner I got. And that I got at Walmart as well, I believe. And it has XO XO and I thought it was super cute and it would add like a more Valentine's Day vibe. Especially to that LED light thing I have going on there because I don't really use it because the lights are this really ugly green and I thought they'd be mint. But, uh. So I decided to just put my little banner up there since I didn't want to make any more holes on my wall. And yeah, so that's it for that area. Okay, moving on over here is some of my more Valentine's Day decor. This is in the corner where I have shelving going on. Over here, uh, these are, you've probably seen them before, they were in my Christmas DIY decor video last year. And I just added some pink roses to them to make them more Valentine's Day. And also picked up this really cute, oh it's coffee tumbler or mug, whatever you call it. 
and it's super cute. It was in the Valentine's section. It didn't look Valentine's to me, but it was so cute. I really love mint green. Besides pink, it's one of my favorites. And it says about first coffee. And if you know anything about me, I absolutely love coffee. Like coffee is everything. And I really love how they made like accent the word coffee and like gold. And it's just super cute and girly. And then these are the other ears I was talking about. These are also from Forever 21. And I believe they're like four or so. So they're, they're really expensive. And then over here I have my January's favorite sign. Another couple of my favorites. I've always loved the Simple Colors collection. Like the brand. But the collection I've really been loving right now is Candies. Absolutely love, 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 love this line. Super cute. And the names are adorable. This one's Strawberry Milk. Then this one is confetti that one's one of my favorites so oh, that's falling and then this one's mint chip i picked these up at walgreens i think you can also find them at walmart probably but yeah that's where i've been finding them walgreens so you should definitely check those out too they're super good and cute and they're matte and everything girly so it's like it's everything good in one guys moving on so this isn't any decor but this has been my January favorite jewelry for the month I've been really obsessed with these rose gold rings that I got for Christmas and yeah they're super cute and then these now you're probably wondering why the show Santa Claus been no so if you know anything about me as again once again I am a huge 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 Melanie Martinez fan and I've been really wanting to get her pants but they're kind of on the pricey side and I've been trying to save up for a car and for my camera as well so I've been on a budget and I splurred a bunch of money on her perfume and other merch I've picked up. So I couldn't get the pin sadly. But when I went to Forever 21 into the clearance section, they had these. Um, if you guys are Melanie Martinez fans, you'll know what song this kind of reminded me of. She has a song called Milk and Cookies and these reminded me of her pins. So if you're on the same side as me, Melanie Martinez fan. But you can't afford the pins or you're trying to save up, definitely try to check out Forever 21's clearance section. They might still have some of these in your local Forever 21. And they're super cute and they kind of look like hers too. And Santa Claus, I can see it for next Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> and another favorite are these super cute earrings. And then moving on, another favorite are these cute, simple statement bracelets I picked up. For 21, I really like them that they just have like one little small piece of the middle and not super dangly because I can't, I just can't <laughs> with like any big chunky bracelets I get super distracted or they bother me like if I'm typing or writing and these are just super convenient and super cute. I really love just simple small jewelry and yeah so that's it for jewelry favorites this month. And yeah, another favorite, well these are back to Valentine's Day decor. I picked up this cute little Valentine's Day box. I'm using it as decor. You can really store anything. I think it's meant for a gift box, but I just thought it'd be super cute for decor. Another cord piece I didn't show you guys is this as well. This is super cute. It's this little wood plaque thingy and it just has hearts and arrows. And that and the little decorative box were at the 99 cent store in the Valentine's Day decor section. Another thing I picked up there was this super cute Minnie and Mickey bag. I love Disney and I just loved the aesthetic of this bag. It's super cute and it's like the classic Minnie and Mickey and it says perfect match. And yeah, I don't know. I just loved everything about it. Another thing I picked up are these little, I think they're called dollies. But yeah, you could just use them underneath kind of like placement mats. I don't know how to explain it. Like you can do this. So I mean, yeah. So I've been using those in my little mini. Melanie Martinez section. Yes, I have a section for that, guys. I have this little teddy bear because it reminded me of the song Teddy Bear. And this was also at the Valentine's Day section at the 99 cent store. This is just a confetti from her perfume. I've been planning on making a review on her perfume. I'm not sure if you guys want one though. But if you do, definitely leave a comment below telling me you want one. Because I definitely want to make one. But I'm just, I'm not sure if that's something you guys would want to see. But I really love the packaging. It's super cute and like vintage aesthetic. It's just, it's just life, guys. 
And then I used to have this up on my wall, but it broke. And I was going to get rid of it. But the whole aesthetic of it, the background, reminded me of her song Carousel. So I just kept it there. And I thought it went really well with this little section I have. And then moving on to Valentine's Day decor again. There's this little plaque I found in the 99 cent store as well. It says XOXO. But that was just super cute for all year round, especially since it matches my room aesthetic. So I've been adding more black into my room again. And yeah, I think that's it for this whole section. And then up top here, I used to have a pumpkin storage box here for fall theme. But since fall is obviously already over, I just changed my little owl on top. I'm a Harry Potter fan, but that's why I have this owl. And I also love owls, so yeah. It's normally right here, sitting here, but I always change where it's standing, so it used to be a pumpkin. And now I have this little cute Valentine's Day box. And yeah, I think it's super cute. And it matches the aesthetic. And I think that's it for this section. Okay guys, so I'm done with the Valentine's Day decor. I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't have that much Valentine's Day decor since I normally don't decorate for it. But since my room was a lot more pastel this year and it went with my theme I decided why not get some Valentine's Day things that I can use a little bit longer like more spring aesthetic but they are Valentine's Day themed and yeah so these are my couple of last favorites these pink like baby pink sneakers I got for 21 they're just goals they have a ton 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 of pastel shoes right now so if you love pastels and comfort comfort what am I saying Comfy shoes, you should definitely check out for 21. They have the pastels, they had baby blue and also like a pastel yellow, I believe. Another favorite of mine, not that sign, believe me, I had made a nicer one, but my brother ruined it. And I was like, you know what? I don't have much time, so I just scribbled that on. The first one was really cute and like it was like cursive and little hearts, but whatever. I tried, guys. So that's one of my favorites, this little whiteboard. <laughs> I was probably going to get a bigger one, but since I'm going to be moving soon, I don't want to have that much going on. But I got this small whiteboard for me while because I picked up this set of whiteboard markers. I thought this was a really good steal. I picked these up at the 99 cent store. They have a lot of like $4 stuff and like up like $2, $3 stuff. They don't just have $1 stuff no more. And they had this $4.99 pack. Well, the value was $4.99. But it came with all these expo markers, comes with the classic ones, and then fine tip ones, and ultra fine. And I absolutely love these. I really love to draw, so sometimes I'll just, when I'm bored, but I don't feel like taking out a piece of pencil and paper. And I don't have that much effort. Like, if I'm not in super creative mode, but I just want to kind of doodle and not waste paper, I'll just go to this guy and draw. That's it for today, you guys. Okay, and my last tip before I go, guys. It was a super cute beanie. I got it on clearance in January. The two weeks ago we went to the mall and I picked this up and it's super cute. I got it at Windsor's, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's like this dress shop. Kind of reminds me of like papaya, but like a little bit pricier. And they have a lot of like cute like dresses for like going out, like to parties and stuff and whatnot, like formal dresses. That's what I mean. And I picked up this super cute beanie. It's like this really like mauve blush color it's not picking it up that way on camera though it's like a mauve blush and it has these little pearl accents and the super cute pom pom and i was just like because i went with my mom and she actually found it and she was like this is so you and i was like yes because <laughs> i've been looking for one of these and i finally found one because i have been skeptical i had found a few before but i was kind of skeptical but skeptical about it because where i live it's not really cold it's been really hot actually, but there'll be a few days now that it's starting to get like, it'll be chilly one day and then it'll be like 90 degrees the next day. I'm just like, make up your mind. And sometimes it'll be like 60 in the morning and then once I get off work, it'll be like 90. I'm like, really? <laughs> but yeah, this was really hard not to pass up because it was originally 12 and I got it for $6. So to me, that's a steal. And yeah, so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know, let me know if you guys want to see the Melanie Martinez perfume review. And I have another couple of videos planned for you guys. And yeah, till next time. Bye.